Let's see how to fix HTTP error 500 in hosting. Internal server error can be found on your website due to multiple factors. And today in this video, I will show you different methods that you can do to fix this error. So first of all, we will check the website plugins. Log into your website. From the hosting HPanel dashboard, click on websites. Now log into your WordPress website for which you want to fix this error. So click on WP Admin from here. If you are unable to log into your WordPress website dashboard, I will also show you how to do it from the hosting HPanel. Now from the left menu, click on Plugins and then click on Install Plugins. Now select all the plugins from here. Click on Bulk Actions and then click on Deactivate. Now click on Apply. And now check your website whether it's working or not. After deactivating the plugins, if your website is working, then there is a plugin installed on your website which is causing this error. So now what you can do is that, so to check out which plugin is causing this error, just activate the plugins one by one. So click on activate on the first plugin. So once the first plugin is activated, go back to your website and refresh it. Now activate the other plugins one by one and after activating every plugin, refresh your website whether it's working or not. If there is any plugin issue, using this method you can find out which plugin is causing the issue. So if you are unable to log into your WordPress website dashboard, so what you can do is that from the hosting edge panel, click on dashboard next to your website. Now click on file manager from here. Now click on public underscore HTML, select WP dash content, select plugins from here and here you will see your plugins. Now to disable any plugin from here, just right click on the plugin and then click on rename. Now add underscore here and then add the word old. Now click on rename and in this way your plugin will be disabled. Now go to your website and refresh it. Do this for all the plugins to know which plugin is causing an error. If your issue is resolved with the help of plugins, then that's great. If not, then now we will try the theme method. From the WordPress website dashboard, click on Appearance and then select Themes from here. And now we will activate any other theme instead of the current one. So click on Activate from here. Now go to your website and refresh it. After deactivating the current theme, if your website is working, then your theme may be causing the issue. If you are unable to log into your WordPress website dashboard, then you can also activate the other theme from the Edge panel. From the hosting your Edge panel dashboard, here you will see the hosting section. Click on Manage from here. Now select your website. After selecting the website, click on Databases from here and then click on Management. Now scroll down and here you will see your website database. Click on enter PHP my admin. Click on WP options from here. Now after that again click on file manager from here. Click public underscore HTML. Select WP content, themes. Now right click on your activated theme and then click on rename. Add underscore here and then click on old. Now click on rename. Now refresh the page whether it's working or not. So this is how you can fix error 500 in Hostinger. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.